guys, welcome back to my channel. I have great news. I'm not grumpy anymore. <laughs> but let's not jinx it. I know my emotions have been really up and down lately. I'm not feeling grumpy anymore. My skin's clearing up. It's amazing what prioritizing rest and eating well and just being kinder to yourself will do. Like, you all know I'm big on being productive and go, go, go and do, 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 and I'm all about that. But this time is incredibly unique because we're being called to slow down, take our time, take a pause. And I really resisted that, but I'm telling you the moment that I gave myself permission to just ebb and flow a little bit more, the better I started to feel. So if you want a whole video on the things that I did to make myself feel better, as far as getting back into a healthy sleep routine again, clearing up my skin, reducing the anxiety and the stress, leave me a comment below and let me know. I'd love to make a video on it because I, for real, as you probably saw in my last few videos, I was not feeling like myself and I was really full of stress and anxiety. I couldn't stop stress eating, I was eating foods that don't make me feel good. My skin was breaking out. I was just spiraling out. Anyway, enough of that. Today I decided we're gonna clean out my closet. Well, here's the thing. I feel like once again, I'm avoiding cleaning out the scary closet, which is over here. If you watched my house tour video, then you know this closet has been scary. I don't even want you to see it. <laughs> This closet has been scary for a really long time and I want to just start off before Well, first let me say this <laughs> These organizing videos are gonna I think that they're gonna be like a two-part. Yeah, two-part series maybe more because Anyway, I, I just want to say that I'm not a hoarder <laughs> I'm not a hoarder. I'm not and it's so crazy because I pride myself on being more of a minimalist like I don't shop a lot I don't buy more than I need but somehow I've accumulated so much stuff I don't know I, I this happens though right like we live we pick up stuff it, it, it totally happens I just don't know I didn't see it happening and I will also say that when you are super busy if you're a mother or you own your own business or you're just a busy student or whatever it might be and you lead a busy life I'm sure you can relate that when you're busy if things don't have a place it's hard to keep things tidy because you just end up putting stuff wherever it will go so I ended up just kind of throwing things in here that I didn't take time to create a space for because okay so here's the thing last year I moved into this apartment in June that's almost like a year ago that's crazy and so a month after I moved in I went to Bali for over a month and when I came home, I was home very briefly and then in meditation, like two weeks after being home, I had the idea to create my 12 week program, The Yoga Inspired Life, which I'm so happy I got that download from the universe. It was amazing. It's so fulfilling, but that took me out of any other things that I was doing. Like I had a really hard time doing anything else but creating for my program because I wanted to get it done. I wanted to create while I had all the energy going. And so maybe 20 hours a day, not kidding you. I was like hardcore working on my program. And so there were certain little nooks in my apartment that I never took the time to organize or I didn't even really liked the way it was organized and because of that because I was so busy creating for my program teaching creating for my YouTube channel creating for my blog trying to work out still all the things I ended up just kind of letting this closet turn into a if I don't know where this goes I'm just gonna put it in here you know what I mean so I'm not a hoarder I just have been busy and when you're a blogger too, like you get sent, I try to stop people from sending me stuff that unless I know that I'm going to use it and like it, because like I said, I try to only take on or buy or accept things that I know I'm going to use and love. But sometimes like you just get sent stuff and I'm like, oh, maybe I might use it. And then I'm like, I don't know if I should keep it or give it so that I just put it in here. And basically this closet has become an absolute mess and more so lately because I had kind of organized it a while ago. And I bought some bins from Target and then I had them in there for like a few weeks and then I realized I really didn't like the bins. It looked really messy. The bins were too small. They didn't, it was just, it wasn't working. So I decided to dump everything out of the bins on the floor. <laughs> Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? <laughs> Why did I do that? I don't know why I did that. I, I guess I just was like, you know what? I'll get to it. <laughs> I didn't 
get to it. So, wow, this is so such a long explanation. The good thing that we have all the time in the world right now, right? Um, you can tell I've been isolating alone. <laughs> Just a freaking chatterbox. Anyway, this closet needs to be organized, but like I said 25 minutes ago, <laughs> I feel like I'm kind of avoiding this closet. However, I decided that there's another organizing project that I want to do first before I do this closet because technically I can just close the door and everything is out of sight, out of mind. It's probably not healthy, but that's okay. That's that's the way that's the way I'm feeling about it. The other project that I want to do is in my room that I see I can't close a door and not look at it anymore. So I feel like I should start with this project and then do the scary closet. I don't know if that makes sense, but the first organizing project that we're gonna do is my closet because I wanna put this dresser back in my closet. Let me show you. Basically, this corner of my room, there's kind of a lot of space over here and I just don't know what to do with it. I first like left it empty because I thought I might do yoga over here, but I don't. I do yoga in my living room. Hi. So then like a month ago, I had the idea that I would bring my dresser out here and free up space in my closet for what reason, I don't know why, but I thought that I would do that. And since getting the dresser out here, I like found this at Target and I was, I just don't love it. I don't love this, which is why I left the tag on and I think I'm gonna take it back. And then the dresser just looks dinky. It's just like, it just looks random. It looks random over there and I'm not loving it. So I decided last week that I actually want to put the dresser back in my closet because it's just, it's a really old dresser. I tried to fix it up by putting little knobs on it, which are cute, but it just, I don't know, just, it looks really lame out here. So instead of getting another dresser, because I really do need more dresser space for my clothes, I'm just going to get rid of some clothes because I feel like now's a great time to release the old and create space for the new. Holding on to stuff, hoarding stuff, hoarding toilet paper, freaking out, feeling negative. That's all lack mentality and it's not productive to think that way and it's not healthy and it's just not my ethos, you know? So I'm trying to find out how I can fully adopt an abundance mentality throughout what we're going through. And part of that starts at home and like how you relate to your belongings. And so yeah, today just feels like a really good day to just let go of stuff that I'm not wearing, not using, don't like, whatever it might be, and redo this little corner. I feel like it's gonna be a little bit of a project because I don't have art that I wanna hang over there in the corner, but if you follow me on Instagram, I restarted my meditation practice at the beginning of April. P.S. I'm on track with my April intentions. I've been meditating every single morning and I've been meditating in bed. So the other morning after my morning meditation, I was kind of sitting in bed looking over at this corner, like what the heck am I gonna do with this corner? This is not good. I don't like that dresser. I was like, I need a pink meditation chair. <laughs> That's what that corner's for. It's a little reading and meditating corner. I've been reading more since I've been home. I've been meditating and it would just be so nice to let this space be a sacred space to be quiet and chill and relax because I do work from home a lot and now we're all working from home. I just need to kind of find some separation and I don't find that my living room is super relaxing because I create a lot of content out in my living room for my IGTV channel. I shoot my life flows, my desk is out there. It just feels like very work, work, work. And when I come in here, it's super relaxed. So I just want to keep that vibe going. So in order to put the dresser back in my closet, we got to clean out the closet. And I have to be honest with you, I have not actually worn one thing in my closet since I started quarantining because I mostly wear workout clothes and also because I haven't gone out at all. But that's like over a month. So I'm not going to get rid of everything, but I feel like I need to lay down the law, clean out the closet, because if I'm not wearing it or if I don't love it, it's got to go. Out with the old, in with the new. Spring cleaning. You feel me? So basically what I'm going to do is we're going to pull everything out of the closet. I just decided we're pulling everything out of the closet. We're putting it on my bed and I'm going to go through each piece of clothing, Marie Kondo style. And I'm going to ask myself if I love it and think about the last time I wore it. And if it has been way too long, it's going. Even if I think it's cute, time to be a little cutthroat, you know? So that's the plan. So I'm going to do that now and then we'll catch up in a little bit.
This is everything from my closet. This doesn't even count stuff that's in my dresser, which we'll do after. I'm just gonna go through and be honest with myself about when the last time I wore it was and if I wear it. And if I'm unsure if it fits, then I'm gonna try it on. And if it doesn't fit, then it's gotta go. I just don't need this much stuff. It's like also very confusing, I think. When you have a lot, a lot, a lot of clothes, it's really hard to decide what to wear because you just have so much stuff and most of it's stuff that you don't even like wearing. I kind of liken it to In-N-Out, although I don't eat at In-N-Out anymore, obviously because I'm plant-based, but I use them as an example because their menu is so simple. Yes, they have off the menu stuff, blah, 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 whatever. But generally speaking, they've got like three choices and it's just easy, you know? It's either one, two, or three, right? Like Cheesecake Factory, how hard is it to order at the Cheesecake Factory? They've got literally a 25 page menu. There's too much stuff on there. It's too hard, it's too much. Give yourself fewer choices and just include things that you really love wearing that you know you're gonna wanna wear. And if none of that stuff is stuff that you love wearing, then get rid of it. Donate it, give it to friends, you can sell it on Poshmark. I sell a lot of my clothes on Poshmark and it's great because it goes to good homes and then I'm able to use that money to either put into my savings account or put towards my business or invest in a new piece of clothing that I like even better, you know? There's also great people reselling clothes on there as well, which I love, so yeah. It sometimes takes a little bit of time to muster up the strength to part with things. Why? I don't know. Because technically, all this stuff is borrowed anyways, right? We can't take it with us. So, let's go through this and decide what stays and what goes. I do really love this. That's too tight. I can't even move my arms in that. Yeah. This I love. This I love. This I do think is really cute. So we'll keep that. This I love. Now, this is a yes. I don't know, maybe. This I weirdly wear a lot. This is a yes. This is a yes. OMG, literally, I've had this jacket from Aloe from when I worked there as a retail associate. I like, can't part with it. It's just so good. It's moments like these where I'm like, this is why it's good to invest in nice clothes if you're able to, like, or some nicer pieces because they really do last so long. Like the jacket really does look practically brand new. It's crazy. And I've washed it in the washing machine. Yeah, I can't part with it. Okay, we're keeping it. Side note, I am so pale right now. I have to get some sun. It's been so overcast and rainy here in LA. I can't handle it. I'm so pale. I haven't gone through my workout clothes yet, but I've gone through all my regular clothes and I have all my keeps back in my closet. And then I'm just going through a pile of maybes of stuff that I, for some reason, never wear. Like this still has a tag on it. I'm trying to figure out why that is. I think it's because I bought this at the end of summer last year and then just never ended up wearing it. But I feel like I'll wear this, so I'm gonna keep it. And yeah, I go through everything, do hard yeses, hard noes, and then I have my pile of maybes that I try on and see if I'm gonna keep or not. So that's what I'm doing now. I have most of my closet gone through, but I'm gonna move on to my workout clothes because I have some workout clothes hanging, like tops and stuff, and I feel like I just need to figure out what exactly I wear and then just say goodbye to the rest. It's hard because I love workout clothes, but I end up wearing the same things and I feel like like I said, it just gets really confusing when you have a bunch of stuff that you never wear. Just keep the stuff that you wear and stick with that, you know? Yeah. Okay. So just like everything else, I'm just gonna pull everything out. I think I recently went through this, so I'm not gonna put it on my bed, but I am gonna go through it right here one more time just to make sure and kind of color code it and stuff. Oh my gosh, my sports bras are out of control. I'm in 
embarrassed. I'm making progress. Although I feel like I'm at that stage where I don't know if I'm actually cleaning or if I'm making more of a mess. <laughs> but my closet is for the most part cleaned out except for shoes and accessories and that kind of stuff, which I am gonna get to. I just don't know that I'm gonna get to it. Right. Well, no, I should just do it. Okay, let's do these accessories. Now I need to clean up this giant mess and I'm not going to sort this right now. I don't know. I'm just going to kind of put it in here for right now and I'll deal with it another day. <laughs> and before you get upset about the garbage bag, I mentioned this in another vlog, but I had like a roll of garbage bags that I've had for ages because I don't have a garbage can in my house because I don't produce very much trash. So I've had them for a really long time and I would never buy them again because I try to stay away from single use plastic and stuff like that. But since I have them, I'm gonna use them. I'm just gonna put everything in here because I'm hitting my organization limit for today. And I actually have a couple of other bags of clothes that I need to kind of sort through and figure out if I'm gonna post on Poshmark or not. And yeah, I'm gonna do that all in another day, not today. I'm gonna get this cleaned up so that we can pull the chair out of the box, set up our little meditation corner. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, it's so cute and cozy. And it's perfect for meditating. I'm so excited, it's so comfy. It'd be so nice if I had like a little, and I had a little gift card to Urban that I hadn't used. And I got this really cute pillow. It's so cute. I love it. It's so cute. I still need to figure out like what I'm gonna do on the wall there because I'm not I'm not crazy about this wall hanging. I think I'll give that wall hanging back to Target. I'm not a fan, but the chair, I love it so much. I can sit here and do little chats with you guys and meditate and read. I really, really, really love it. I'm so excited. That was a lot of work though, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I still have more work to do, which is the craziest thing about it, you know? I feel like before I end this vlog, I should just like show you. So over here I have like all my coats and jackets and then I have like my sweatshirts right over here. All my jeans and skirts are up there. And then I organize my clothes by color and because my closet is generally open for most of the time, I put like the colors that go with the vibe of my room in the middle so that when the closet's open, you'll see those colors and it just vibes really well. And I did like blacks over there and then into pinks and neutrals whites and then the random colors over here. And 
then over here I have a couple of like workout tops that are nice enough to hang but like not regular clothes tops that I would put them in with my regular clothes so yeah and then as far as my drawers go I ended up doing my socks and underwear in the top drawer which I feel like there might be a better way to organize this but for now this is where I'm at and then I have my sweatpants yes sweatpants have their own drawer and I just rolled them up like this and I feel like it looks so much nicer you can see each one and then I have my sports bras down here which I just kind of laid them on top of each other I'm sure there's a better way of doing that as well but for now that's just the way that I ended up doing it and then the very bottom are my workout pants and I kind of did it by color these are all leggings and then these are more like flowy comfy pants I put them that way because I don't have enough to fill that way so yeah Okay, so I know it's a bit dark down here, but I have my luggage there, and then I only kept a few travel bags, like two, all my travel stuff in there. And then I have all my hats stacked here. I actually think I might go on Amazon and look for a hat box, because this one in particular is a cream color, and it's so dusty in LA, and I just don't want it to get dirty. So yeah, I might do that. But I have these, not the cutest, plastic tubs, and in here I just have scarves, some beanies, like more like my accessory box of, I have like three, I only kept three baseball caps that I like to wear. I have a couple of pairs of extra sunglasses of more fun styles that I don't really wear that often. An umbrella, like random stuff, but all of my accessories, belts, I only have three belts, but I like put everything in here so I have it all together. In this bottom one, I put any purses that I have, a couple Kuyana bags that I I don't use that often but sometimes I'll use them I end up using like I don't even carry a purse I actually need like an everyday purse but yeah and so I'm keeping that over here and I'm just gonna put my hats on top for now while I figure out another system for those the chair is so, so cute. It actually matches my couch. I got it from the same place that I got my couch and I was already thinking about getting a chair for my living room so that I have a little bit more seating because my couch isn't really that big and it can comfortably fit, I would say two people on it, but it, I had a couple of friends over, not recently, obviously, but a while back, we ended up having to sit on the floor, which was fine, but I thought, oh, you know, it'd be nice to have one more seat so that if I did have more than one other person over there would be seating so I was thinking about getting a chair for my living room anyways but I like this one because it fits so perfectly here and then if I have people over I can always move it to the living room for extra seating very excited about this yay I'm exhausted well, you're gonna see this video before the closet. Yeah, I'm gonna need to tackle that closet at some point. I think this week is the week I'm gonna do the closet. Whew, that scary closet, man, it's so scary. I've just, I've also made it so much worse in the last two months because I keep just throwing stuff in there and I'm like, eh, might as well just toss stuff in there since it's already a mess. And I'm just like adding to the mess, which is like not good, but you know. It is what it is. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and organizing my closet with me. It was so much more fun knowing that you guys were there with me. And I know we're all, we better all be at home right now. And whenever I'm feeling like anxious or antsy, I'm telling you, organizing, letting go, shifting, cleaning, cleansing, all the things just makes me feel so much better. I know that sounds kind of weird, but it's true. And so if you're feeling a little like, ugh, in your body or energetically, try reorganizing, try cleaning something out, letting stuff go. It really does shift the energy. Everything is made up of energy. And if you're feeling kind of stuck in your space, shift the energy around, get things moving, get things flowing in a different direction. I'm telling you, it makes such a big difference. This room feels like, I don't know, lighter and it just feels good. And especially now, since we're all home and spending so much time at home, at least for the next month. At least here in LA, our stay at home order just got pushed to May 15th, which side note, that means I'll be celebrating my birthday in quarantine because my birthday is on May 12th. Maybe we'll do a virtual birthday party. If you guys can come to my birthday, maybe we'll do a little birthday. Anyway, I just got sidetracked, especially now because we're spending so much time at home and will be for at least the next month. You gotta create a space that feels good to you and that you feel happy in for the, you know, as happy as you can. And I'm telling you, reorganizing, cleaning, shifting, 
feels good. Although I am a bit stressed knowing that that closet is still sitting there waiting for me, but I've just had enough, you know? And that's the other thing is like, you gotta just listen to your body. And when you have had enough of doing one thing, just pick it up the next day. Anyway, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'm going to, oh, it's time to eat dinner. I'm actually like really excited to dive into that closet. The longer I stand here, it's gonna be a good one. The before and after is gonna be amazing. Cause I'm very excited. I've like, I have so many good ideas. I've been using Pinterest and pinning all these organizational ideas. Anyway, that is all for today, officially. I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you are all healthy, safe, and happy. I'm sending you all my love and I will see you guys in my next video.